Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Chaz Mac, and today we're making bacon. Specifically three pounds of bacon. Why? Bible study. Because that's what we do at Bible study. So, specifically like three, no, yeah, three pounds of bacon. See, bacon? Right there, bacon. Uh, so yeah, I got two one and a half pounds of bacon, and we got our pans right here, because we're going to bake the bacon, and then uh, do some other things. So. You guys get to join me while I uh, get the bacon out. Of course, I'm going to use some food, food service gloves. I'm going to keep everybody healthy. Even though we're baking it, uh, it's going to be in the oven that's right over there. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and grab these and get started. For, for all the bacon lovers out there, what kind of bacon do you like? This is um, applewood bacon. Uh, we occasionally have cherrywood bacon. And there's hickory bacon. Just a bunch of different types of bacon here. And this one here. Great. Put this over here in this one, this pan. All right, cool. And then, see, I use my bag as a trash bag, and then I have to clean up all the trash lids. And that's how that works. Okay, let me go ahead and, well, I'll just show you. So I got the, the bacon in the pan. And what I like to do is I just like to layer it out. Just a single layer of bacon. Give it just a little bit of space so it doesn't like, um, glue to each other as they're cooking uh, because I put them in a pan and I do this for 20 minutes uh, at 400 well I I start the oven on preheat and as it's heating up I do the bacon in the pan and you know the bacon might go in at like 200 250 or something like that so I'll do 20 minutes and by the time that 20 minutes is done, the oven will have heated up. This, this is kind of an older oven, so it doesn't quite heat up like it should. And then, um, and then I'll flip the bacon, and then I'll just do another 20 minutes at the full 400. Uh, so overall, it's about 40 minutes of uh, 400, but just depends, depends on the day. So as you can see there, now it's all layered out nice and nice and evenly. It's uh, just about like maybe a pound per pan, maybe. I've been doing bacon for our high school guys Bible study every Sunday. Oh, I don't know, probably for the last three years, four years. And it hasn't always been Sunday. Sometimes our um, our Bible studies are on a different night. Uh, so, you know, I might have done it on a Monday. I think Monday used to be our date before. Okay, so on the second stack of bacon here. Also, if the bacon is like really oddly shaped, um, there's some little tricks that I have to get around that sticking together too. So I'll show you, for example, on this one, this bacon's kind of um, wide, more wide on one end than the other. And so to make sure I have enough room for it, I will just kind of um, flip them back and forth. As you see up on top, top row there. So they kind of flipped. That way, um, they still have room to cook. And they won't get stuck together and I can fit a little bit more in the pan, not much more, but enough to make a difference, I guess. So that's the good part about it. Uh, sometimes I'll do this over the summer. Uh, when we have Bible study over the summertime, uh, we'll meet at the beach because what's better than the beach and Bible study, right? And um, while I'm at the beach, 
<laughs> one time it was kind of funny. One of the guys had dropped his bacon in the sand. And because high school boys do high school boy things, he picked it up and just ate it. Didn't wash it off or nothing. He could have washed it off. He could have went and ran it underneath the fresh water faucet. Faucet. So that was an interesting time for sure. We all kind of got a laugh out of it. Um, but yeah, tonight we are actually celebrating our last Bible study of the evening. And then um, we'll have our summer break. And I don't, well, I don't plan to be doing any Bible study over the summer. Uh, just because I'm gonna be in school all week. All right, so now that we got those done, Welcome to Cooking with Chazzy. <laughs> We're gonna put it in the oven. Yeah, so right now the oven's at 276 for the top one and 265 for the bottom one. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my timer. Timer. 20 minutes start. And there we go. All right, so I'm gonna show you what we got cooking, literally. Three pounds of bacon in the oven. Let's show you guys. There's a little bit right there. Then you go down to the bottom one and there's a little bit right there. And today we're using cherry, or no, not cherry wood bacon, apple wood bacon. I'm told there's a difference. I don't know if I believe them. But we're making the bacon today for Bible study. Uh, it's our last Sunday night before our little break in May. Um, I don't think we'll be doing any Bible studies over the summer because uh, I don't have a leader that's going to lead the charge for the Bible study. And I'm doing school all year or all summer long to try to get ahead of my master's degree uh, before my VA benefit runs out. <laughs> Basically is what it boils down to. So anyway, um, we're not gonna be doing Bible study, but we're doing bacon tonight. We're getting pizza tonight, so the boys are gonna be fed. Uh, we have roughly about 12 high school guys that show up on a Sunday, which is really cool. Uh, usually sports doesn't interfere too much, so Sundays are a good day. Um, but yeah, so we make the bacon. I have my tongs. We're gonna flip, flip the bacon here in just a little while. And once I flip it, it goes in for another 20 minutes. And then when I pull them out, usually, <laughs> usually, um, it's a nice crispy bacon. Sometimes it's overcooked, like it's black, it's burnt bacon. <laughs> and sometimes I gotta leave it in a little bit longer because it's not cooked enough. Um, so it just kind of depends. Every week seems to be something different, uh, whether it's too cooked, cooked just right, or not enough. Uh, and then trying to time it if it's not enough is also tricky. I put it in for like another five and then hope it's good um, and go from there. Um, I like to put it on some paper towels just to kind of help with some of that grease, uh, get the grease off. And so what I'll do is I'll put down a layer of bacon on this here and then I'll put the other plate on top of it and I'll flip it. That way the gravity will start bringing the oil down to you know, the underside. And then I put another layer of bacon on and you'll see all that here in just a little bit once we get to that point of video. But um, yeah, so today we're just working on uh, making some bacon and getting ready for the guys to come. The, um, the Bible study leader will be here and he's bringing the bacon or bringing the pizza. I'm bringing the bacon. And then we'll go from there. Okay, it's time to flip the bacon. Let's go ahead and get the first one out here. Ooh, hot. Yeah, you know, it's hot. All right, so the first one, I always put that on the wrong hand. It's because I'm a righty, but whatever. Real quick, turn that so I don't burn myself. All right. So yep, yeah, I just flip them over right where they are, right where they sit. 
kind of gets a nice bacon crisp on both sides of the bacon without overcooking one side. And I'll do this for all three pans. And that'll give us a nice good bacon ready for the guys tonight for sure. For sure. Flip these last five pieces of bacon for three. It's kind of like a Zumba class, right? And two. And one. Good job, everybody. Way to go. Way to press through. <laughs> uh, who am I kidding? I've never been to a Zoom class. Cycling class. I've done those. I've done uh, cycling classes before. All right, let's go ahead and put this back in here. Put the other one in. And we're actually gonna do a timer for 15 minutes because the top side seems to be already doing pretty good. So we're gonna do a timer for 15 minutes and we'll see you then. Okay, and we're back. New station, we're ready to get the bacon out and start putting it on the plates. So let's go do that. Okay, let's go check it out. Oh yeah, it's looking good. That another couple minutes was good. What I like to do, let me show you, is I like to um, put it at an angle. That way the grease can kind of slide down. So that's what we're gonna do for that. But first, I need to take the two pans and put one pan on top. Oh man, that's hot. That's a lot of hot air. Okay, so now that's done, we can go ahead and just transfer the bacon. And I'll show you kind of what I do, um, especially if it's like this where there's a lot of um, foam, I guess. Um, if you know where the foam comes from, let me know because I have no idea. But for the most part, I'll try to take the, the foam off and then take it out of the pan. Just so the paper, um, the paper towels that I have on the plate have just have a little bit of less work to do um, soaking up that grease and stuff. So yeah, I'll just do a layer like this, and then I usually put down paper towel for my tongs because again, the less cleanup, the better. I'll take the empty plate, I'll put it on top, I'll just go whoop, like that, and let gravity do the work. And so now the plate's been flipped, I can take the rest of the bacon, take it out. And now that we're getting down to like the pool of grease kind of thing, I do let it drip just a little bit. Um, so that, again, the paper towel doesn't have to work as hard to get all that grease off the bacon. Does it really matter? I don't know. Does it make me feel a, bit, a little bit better about it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's basically my process for bacon. Soon I'll have a stack of bacon on this plate and 10 to 12 high school guys ready to eat. So until next time, Later.